hello everyone welcome to our channel and today we will see how we can create dashboard on looker studio so for that you need to open up looker studio and over here we will play around with different settings to get the best dashboard for us so it all depends on your data the data that you will add and after that using that data we can create a good dashboard or good looking dashboard so for that just click on this option of add data over here and after that you will see a plenty of options to choose your data from you can choose either from google analytics google ads google sheets and if you have a youtube channel then just scroll down and you would be able to see this youtube analytics tab also so this way you would be able to connect your youtube channel to this particular local studio and a report could be created out of it so for that just click on any of particular uh, option that you want to choose there are plenty of them you can choose them accordingly i am choosing youtube analytics for this video and since my youtube channel is absolutely new that's why not much data on my youtube channel but still you would know the exact settings to play around with on lucas studio after completing this video so let's choose an option over here and after that all the data will be shown over here so I have since I have chosen YouTube analytics that's why it is showing as YouTube analytics over here and all the aspects related to it will be listed down now to give the title of this particular report we can either click on this option of text over here or we can click on insert then scroll down and see the text option so just select it and type the text after that you would be able to see all the options or the properties related to this particular text on the right hand side here you can choose the color of the text uh, let's choose the red color let's get it a little bigger and we can also choose the font over here to give it a better look we can also add a line over here right below it or we can add an arrow let's add line over here Whenever you will click on a, any particular element over here, all the properties related to that particular element will appear on the uh, right hand side. Here you can change it to any of the option that you want and after that we can add data to it. And for that we need to click on this particular option of add charts. We can use these charts to showcase all our data from this particular option that we just chose as data. So let me select scorecard over here and for this particular scorecard I will just select it and then I will select the data that I want to show on this particular show card, scorecard like I want to showcase the views so I will just drag it and drop it on the metric section so this way the views will be shown over here and when you click on that particular option all the properties will be shown over here now click on a style and here you would be able to change it accordingly like you can change the color and font and all the other stuff and since there's no data that's why it is showing no data and you can also click over here and choose if you want to show something else like zero or null or just a comma or blank you can choose it from here and if you click on this particular option called sum you will see that there's an edit option over here just click up over here and just name it accordingly you can name anything over here and if you want to show any other chart then just click on add chart select any of the chart over here and for that particular chart that you want to show on that particular chart just select the metric from this area of data like you want to show views on this particular chart just drag it and drop it on metric and this way views will be shown over here and this is how you can play around with different settings and to give it a better look you can also upload images and the icons for it to look better like I can upload this one and this way you would be able to add the holograms of your particular company the brand logo or anything else that you want to add and the dashboard will look quite good if you are able to incorporate all the other aspects of this particular report and if you want to move two of them together just select two of them and move it down 
and this way you would be able to create a good dashboard for yourself on Luca Studio. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos.